Welcome back, everybody. Another episode of the Pixel Shadow Extreme. Um, I did a bunch of exploring off camera. I went ahead and made myself a diamond pickaxe because I kept breaking my steel ones. Uh, still looking for chromium. And I have stumbled upon a few amazing things that I thought I would share. And I'm getting shot at by a dragon. Well, that is super duper. So, first off, found this beautiful lava slide which I always enjoy lava slides so I went ahead and did what any responsible person would do and built up a wall to keep that lava from spreading places where it shouldn't be going which honestly is pretty much anywhere um, but the other more important thing is I discovered chromium I just have to find where it is now because I, I don't remember where exactly it was here. It was near this Nyan cap that's over here, though. Should have left that guy existing. That would have been handy. Because it lights up nicely. Um, this, was this it? Nope. There's the Nyan cap. The chromium was nearby. And now I need that so I can... So I could upgrade something to medium... Oh, make the logic units. That's what it was. Where is it? I had seen it here. The thing about chromium is... It's not that different of a color than anything else. Whoa. So it makes it... Difficult to notice. Boy, oh wow, I just ran right into that guy. There's also a bunch of sulfur out here, which sulfur is pretty useless, honestly. Um, doesn't really have any uses, so I generally just leave it alone. Um, I'm not sure exactly whatever led to sulfur being added into the Technic mod. Oh, I should probably put my armor back on. As you can see, I've died a couple times here. Oh wait, I got some chromium and I didn't even realize it. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of sulfur over here. But like I say, I don't think it really has any purpose. I have, I've read the docs and stuff. Well, okay, I haven't read the docs. I've read the code for the Technic mod, and there's no recipes that use sulfur. Like, because, I mean, on this server, some stuff's disabled. Like the, um, uh, what is it? Uranium for doing radioactive stuff to make a nuclear reactor. That is disenabled because it makes crowb light or something some radioactive waste which is really really harmful and uh it really just makes a giant mess that's only if you break your reactor but it's just a huge possibility for somebody to grief with it which is what happened originally and why it was removed i think this guy's trying to shoot at me but he can't hit me I also. Oh, good, nice chat was open. So. Yeah, they were disenabled here. Just uh, for safety's sake. But even with it, it never uses sulfur. So, I don't know. It's one of those things that just does not seem to be used at all. Um, but with that being said, I will leave that alone and just harvest up all these other goodies. This place is a literal minefield of goodies. There's just coal, steel, there's copper, a bunch of stuff under this thin ice. Uh, this is in a cave room. Oh, and this nyan cap, which I mentioned earlier, but I definitely want to harvest. I don't. I didn't think I was going to have a... Oh, because I put my armor on. So I cleared a bunch of inventory slots. Nice. 
I don't know. Uh, outside of making a couple tools, I don't think there's really a lot of uses for a Nyan cat material. This place is also just like a breeding ground for dragons. There's so many of them here. But by and large, you can just outrun anything they throw at you. Which is nice. Because... Otherwise, you pretty much just die. But being able to outrun it... You gotta be on your toes. But that's about it. Just pay attention to them, to what they're shooting at you. Like that guy over there. This guy can probably just hit me. I should probably, he's not even shooting at me, nice. I should probably just call it quits here and head back home and process this stuff down and make those logic units that I need. I was looking at the, uh, the code and the documentation for Technic. Chromium, I believe starts at negative 100 and pretty much just maintains the same likelihood of being discovered as far down as you go. So there's really no advantage to going super deep to try and find chromium because it's not going to be any thicker as you go down. Unlike some materials which the deeper you go the more of them you find. Which is nice when you have a deep cave you can go run into and harvest materials from. When you don't have a deep cave, it kind of stinks. Oh man, I was just gonna jump too. Oh well, that's alright. I set my home right where that Nyan cat was. So it's literally just a short little jog over here to get my stuff and then we're gonna head home and I'm gonna get this chromium processed up right away. Just throw some of that stuff up in there. Just so I can grab that. And then, oh, actually, I need to do it this way. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go down to the basement. And throw the. Uh, you know, I bet the chromium is up in the crafting grid. It sure is. Alright, well, let's put the armor on. Grab this stuff all out of there. And throw the chromium lumps in. Alright, so there's a lot of other materials I'll have to process through here as well. Um, but I think... For the time being, I may just go ahead and throw those all into a chest. Like this one here. Let's throw all these lumps in there. So I, I don't really need to process them down right away. So I don't need them immediately. All I need right now is the chromium. And you know what? Always need more copper, so I'm going to do that too. All right, let's see what these logic units need. Okay, so I need chromium ingot, which I have a bunch of now. Silicone wafers, sand, and coal dust. Do I have coal dust? Yes, I do. I have quite a bit of it. Do I have sand? Now, that's a good question, because I don't know if I do. Um, I can throw the cobble in there. And, you know, I'll go ahead and throw those in there as well. 43 sand. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do 20 sand and 20 coal dust. So that'll give me 10 silicone wafers, which should be sufficient. I'll need copper ingots, and I'll need fine gold wire. Which... It said that would give me two for three of them. You only need one per logic control unit. So that'll work. I'll just have to grab some copper ingots, which actually... I will have a whole slew of those coming up here. That's enough of those. Alright, so, 
Let's go ahead and make two of these because I have two machines, so that's all I need to start with. Yay! Logic control units for the win. Okay, then. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to wait till that finishes cooking. Um, let me pull that out. Let me go ahead and dig this up. The power needs to come in from the bottom. I think. Actually, that works. So I'll just throw these here. And then do medium voltage grinder. I should grab some pipes. Um, I just want the basic ones. I don't need anything fancy. Hmm, did I throw those in a bag? Maybe. All I need is just the plain pipes. Here we go. All right, so we'll put the grinder right there and let's put the upgrade there and put pipe segment coming off that's finished so I can do that um, I should knock this down and then that can go away then put out the furnace, which I may as well just shove right there, just cause. We'll throw that there. And that goes up into this chest. So let's do this. I need something that I can grind and then cook. So let me grab some lumps. Some little silver lumps will be sufficient. All right, and let's see what happens here. Okay, so I've got some dusts going into the furnace. The furnace seems to be working. Sending them up into the chest. All right, beautiful. So what I need to do is some switcherooing here. I think. Because I don't really want them going to that chest. Whoops. And everything comes out of there. Alright, so I'll take those. So if I'm sending stuff down through there, it should go to the grinder. Well, potentially to the grinder. Or maybe to the furnace. Depending on what it is. I can't sort enough for all the different metals, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I remember this did take forever to figure out. On my, uh in my other building on a different server. It was uh, quite the lengthy experiment to get everything working properly. And I don't even remember. I think I started by only putting ores into something. Yeah, I could do two, two different uh, chests up there, I think, right? Yeah, because I just got this one chest here, which, if I recall, yeah, there is item-wise injector right there, and I believe behind that, there's a blinky plant. Whoops. Yep, blinky plant there that powers the injector. So I could put a blinky plant here and another injector. Or I could actually even put one right next to it. That'd make the pipes fight, though. But there are one-way pipes, so that would be an option. Let me put the floor back in here. Alright, so... Do I have any of those 
single direction pipes? I don't know. Adjustable vacuuming, detecting, sorting, and vacuuming. Well, let's see what that takes. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, teleporting, high priority, one way tube. It needs a Mies crystal, a stick, and plastic sheets. Otherwise, there are crossing, detecting, digi digiline, sorting, accelerating. Teleporting, wow, that's really expensive. That's pretty expensive, too. Desert stone. If I use teleporting, I could just teleport everything coming out of that. And everything coming... Those would probably still connect, though. No, they shouldn't, because they're teleporting. But I don't know if that would still even help at all. So yeah, this is basically all going to have to be ripped out and reorganized and built. Because I'm going to put it all up against this wall, I guess. Which it's a good thing this is a long wall. Should give me space to run everything. Uh, and this big empty area, I guess, well, I don't know what that'll be. It'll just be empty, I guess. Could probably even get rid of it for all that matters. So we'll have, there'll be a couple machines here. Grinder furnace. I may throw a second furnace in. And then I'll just throw ores in one. They'll go down to the grinder. Which... I th think... It connects the top, so I should be able to put an ore into the top of it. And then coming out the side. So I could actually do... Nope, can't do that. And that does that. So I would do that. Get rid of that. Put that in, get rid of this. And I would just put ores in, and that would put all the ores to here. Which of course isn't where I want the ores going. I want them all going to this locked chest, which will have to get moved to someplace else. I'll probably end up doing a series of chests over here. Or something. I'm gonna have to do a lot of organizing. That's gonna have to be next episode though, because I don't think I have time for doing all of that in this episode. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time. And I'm gonna do a lot more technic related stuff getting this machinery kind of all in place and where it needs to go and getting stuff sorted it'll be a load of fun for everybody that has borderline OCD because right now my inventory is just a complete mess and that is gonna get fixed <laughs>